<laughs> this, it's got such a freaky premise, and the fact that it's happening now, it's crazy. So you're just trying to give people nightmares? <laughs> that's what I showed my I showed my wife the, the trailer recently. She's like, oh my god, that's so terrifying. Yeah, we're it's a thriller, you know, and thrillers we're trying to prey on people's like fears, and we feel like we're we, we're lucky on this one because people are talking about this, you know, uh, not necessarily about AI, even though there are people talking about AI, but also I think people at home and in their work life they're talking about how exposed they feel, and that people are listening to them, or you know, and my, we, the Manny, the genius of Manny. His script was he says, well, what if that person listening was a computer? You know, what I mean, was like an artificial intelligence. And, and I, so I feel like we're kind of in this nexus of like two people, people feeling exposed and also this emerging technology that has so much potential power and negative power, um, you know, and, and, and it would have, it would give it like access to all our lives. And be, you yeah. know. I mean, the premise, you know, the premise behind all that information gathering of Facebook and all that stuff is that it's so much data and it's sort of anonymous, but it's just so much, it just gets lost in this sea that nobody can really access it and do anything useful. And we saw just a glimpse of what you can do with a Cambridge Analytica scandal. So now imagine there's something smart enough and fast enough to look at all that data. Where does that put us? You know, you're incredibly vulnerable. With it. So it's, I think it's a really good like match to like the series. Are there human antagonists too, or is it basically the humans just well, against this AI? Um, Next uses people. It understands people. It understands human behavior. And it understands our weaknesses, our emotions, our wants and desires, and uses those to manipulate them and get that people people to do its bidding. It understands that it can't just. It's not all about turning on and off switches. You know, it actually has to interface with humans and use them to its advantage. And that's actually in the pilot. It uses um, it uses um, a character in this uh, in this firm to just give it a wireless AI so they can actually get out into the world. And that's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and uh, you know, so it, that's what I mean. I think you know, there's a lot of projects like this floating around. But Manny's the great thing that Manny did with the script is he, he did he did that. He said, "This is how you make it a character." Because we come from this is us. This is our we're, we we direct the pilot of this is us. We're ongoing executive producers and we work on it all the time. And that, so it doesn't really make sense. That, you know why would we be doing a show like this? And when we met Red Men and we're like, oh well, this is a character drama about AI, and that's the way to tell the story. Because people don't want to just tune in every week and see like some boring show about technology. They want to see human drama, and uh, and so that's the way to sort of interface between an interesting subject and a terrifying. Uh, eventuality that we're all facing, and also just telling really human, you know, heartfelt stories. Yeah, you know, that this thing can know you better than you know yourself, mm -hmm. basically, because you spend all day hitting like, dislike, you knows everything. So I think that's a really cool way. So instead of watching a show about bad guys hacking mainframes and typing for a half an hour, you get to see a machine actually hack people. That's kind of like the, the twist on it. Cool. Now, the people that the machine is hacking isn't always going to be our central cast, or is there always going to be some other story? I think there are there are going to be a few outlying stories that might weave into the main, but it takes the this season takes place over a very compressed time frame because once this thing gets super intelligent, it's only a matter of time before it's too smart to be defeated uh, or at least slowed down. So, uh, but the thing about, about I think many did was so cool is that it's not like it doesn't have personality. You know, it's not it's not a human. It's not a mustache twirling villain. It's just this thing that's out there trying to do its thing, and it'll use. It's not going out just trying to be bad and mess with people. It, everything it does, it does for a reason. So. Even something that seems like vindictive mm -hmm. turns out to be something really smart. It's not, there's never any case in which it's just gleefully evil and trying to take over the world. It's, it's always, it's very cold, very calculating, and you actually get, a, I think, uh, give it human traits at your peril. Because you think, if the moment you start to think 
that he thinks like a human, you're screwed. So why would it? You know, I, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, from its point of view, we're so horribly flawed and easy to manipulate. Why would it want to be us? It's, I mean, from its perspective, you know, everything is so inefficient with us. And so I think, it, 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 and that's what's terrifying. And I think it's also what's interesting about this show is that you're, you're seeing it becoming a different sort of living being, not not uh, our consciousness. It's not becoming us. It's not. It's not desirous to become us. It wants to become, stay alive and have its own identity and, and not be weighed down by emotion and all these human blood frailties mm -hmm. you know, are all strapped. You know. yeah. yeah, it's that thing, you know, if you, if you give it this simple task, it becomes smarter. That's its only program. Mm -hmm. But where does that stop? You know, how many computers does it need? How much power does it need? How does it get that power? Does it get, then it's our part, you know, we're in the way. Mm -hmm. Not not because you know, it's making some moral judgment on us. It's just it's just fulfilling its program. Yeah. And I think any kind of AI has that potential problem. It's always just gonna have this like little thing that we don't think about. You know, like when you think about uh, self-driving cars here. They're, I think it's great. I think it, it can solve so many problems. It can get old people around. It can be, there's like great things you can do. But there will come a time where it's gonna have to make a decision like, do I hit this bus full of nuns or do I hit this kid on the street? It's gotta, it's, they're gonna have to learn and make that call. That is, that is going on right now uh, with these autonomous driving uh, programs. The, those sort of, sort of value judgments, of, of, like they're already talking about that. You, I mean, there's two people here, there's one person there. Well, I killed the one person. You know, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's happening right now in the development of this and that's making a moral judgment. You know, that is computer making a moral judgment of who to kill. You know, it's pretty shocking. To no, it's just, or do I kill the person who's far? And, and the least the amount way of damage. The, and Elon Musk says the AI and the way it's tilted in his cars is always protect the person in the car. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, think about that. You've given a potential super intelligence that the mar those marching orders yeah. protect that person over that person. And suddenly, why? What? What's the difference between that and? You know, a mass murderer. Exactly. I mean, it's crazy. So but that's now. That's not. That's not yeah. part of our show. That's what that's are doing that. I think yeah. that's a real moral dilemma. And I'm talking about it could be something really minor. But, you know, it could be something totally you're not thinking about, you know, save human life at any cost. Yeah. So does that mean it's going to go around, you know, and start killing dogs because dogs attack people? You know, it's it's always going to be something we're not thinking of because it doesn't have a, a yeah, doesn't think like that. Yeah. You, that's what I mean. Is you assume that it's going to get it when you say, don't do this, you don't do this. So I, I find that really interesting. <laughs> Delicious for drama. There's a lot of story there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you.